this one, the Rebel oh. Roy Wills, who's been on pretty much every Rebellion Muay Thai show they've had, all the way from the Thai Boxing Pit. Fighting out of the blue corner, Samuel Simon Decker. Bark! Taking on the man who's uh, spent a lot of his time over in Thailand, representing the Super Fight Gym here tonight, Sam Simon Decker Bark, an impressive record, 32 fights. 23 wins, spent a lot of time in Thailand, having been racking up the wins. But of course, he's taking on probably Melbourne's favourite West Australian, the Rebel Roy Wills from the Thai Boxing Pit. And his opponent, Roy the Rebel Will. You, you know when Roy Wills is on the card, you'll never, ever see a boring fight hammer. Absolutely doesn't know how to take a backward step, Roy Wills. One of my uh, personal favourites, I'd have to say, in, the, in the, uh, this weight division. But uh, we've heard so much about Samuel Barr. Donny Miller talked him up a treat. He trained out of the, the Sancti Annoy gym over there in, in Thailand as well. This one's five three-minute rounds, full tie rules. So for the viewers at home, Roy Wills uh, with the mohawk and the black trunks. But the Rebel, mate, we know he brings it, but the wraps on Sam Bark. I'll tell you what, Hammer, and I think we've said it's already earmarked that it looks like he's going to be fighting Tum Sityatong on the next Rebellion on the 28th of November. If you haven't got your tickets, get online now and get them because this kid brings it, and is there anyone that can step it up to Tum Sityatong? Well, as you know, I've uh, matched up a few fighters for Tum Sityatong, and no one's been able to catch him. So uh, is it going to be the evasive Tum Sityatong or uh, the new sensation they're saying? Simon Decker, they call him. Samuel Bark. So he looks fairly broad in the shoulders too. Samuel Bark, good counter fighting already. You can see him with big driving knees. Yeah, he set up nicely too. He faked the right hand and then come on, as, as Roy went to cover against the right hand, he brought the knee up underneath. Clever strategy. Just measuring with the jab. Big exchange of round kicks. Round kicks for round kicks. Bark double. Doubles it up and then chops low, upping the ante with the work rate. In the, in the clinch, they keep busy, knee for knee. Keep a look out at who's working more if you're watching this at home because all those knee strikes will score. You know, we've seen Roy Wills in some absolute battles on Rebellion. Of course, the very first one against Brian Hass, which was a war. We've seen him fight Sonny Vanathy. He's fought Tum Sityatong. He's fought the very best hammer from around Australia here on Rebellion Muay Thai. But Sam Bark at the moment, very, very impressive fighter. He's looking very composed, you know, and it's, it's Roy that's very tentative. Obviously, uh, the pit crew. Perth would have done their homework, they would have a strategy, and uh, they would be well aware that Samuel Barks had a good career overseas. But, uh, he's here to make a statement tonight on this Rebellion event, yep. Malvern Town Hall. Emma, we were talking a little bit earlier about uh, the counter kicking. One of the things the boys from the, fit, uh, the pit do well is when they're on the back foot, they're always counter kicking. But Sam Bark at the moment, just he looks really solid through the body. He looks a lot bigger than Roy Wills. Yeah, he doesn't look uh, intimidated by Wills at all. Bark, 32 fights. Wills, 41. So, in, uh, in fighting record, Wills the more experienced of the two. But the way, way I'm seeing that at this point, it looks like Wills is the one that's a little bit sort of tentative and, and uh, lesser experienced. And I'll tell you what, mate. Roy Wills, I think he's only just turned 21 years of age yeah. as well, mate. 42 fights under his belt. That's just a phenomenal record. And, a, and such a great guy too, you know, humble and uh, just loves it, trains hard and uh, always brings, uh, brings a great show when he fights. Yeah, big shout out to, to Graham and Tammy. Always follow Roy around, around the, the country one. wherever this he fights. And I'll tell you what, Sam Bark, first time we've seen him here, Hammer, and very, very Sports. impressed with this young kid. Just composure, you know, really, that's, that's the one word to describe him, I suppose. Composure, focus is, is just... You know, he doesn't seem to be phased by anything that, that Roy's throwing at him. He's got a great counter fighting strategy. Wears one, gives one, or gives two, in fact. Already thrown the elbows to in the first round, Hammer, so he's not shy. He's happy to let it go. So we go round number two. Rebellion Muay Thai, number nine, coming to you from the Malvern Town Hall. Sai Naji, once again, done a great job. Hit him up on Facebook, Rebellion Muay Thai.
Sam Buckman always measuring with the hands too, Hammer just always throwing that jab out, just finding the range, crossing elbow there from Roy Wills. Step through, elbow off the rear, Bark trying to close distance. He's always doing something though, Sam Bark. Look at that, triple jab, right hand down to the low kick, put the combination together so effort effortlessly. But, you know, for the young fighters at home, you know, if you want to model yourself on someone, you've got two beautiful fighters here in centre ring, but it's a very impressed with Sam Bark at the moment, Hammer. Again, double jab. He loves the double, triple jab as well. Just measures like a boxer off that lead hand. You see, you'll see guy, uh, you know, fighters that are really prominent Thai stylists. Yep. They won't even jab. They'll just throw that kick. You know, they won't set it with the hands. But you know, for me, I'm a big believer in always making sure your hands are busy and your legs are uh, have got something like coming through underneath. Yeah. You know, putting and, something up high as a distraction, even maybe. Yeah, and he's not throwing that jab out to try and knock Roy out with it. He's just setting it up, as you said, Hammer. It's, just, it's a constant thing, so you've got, to, you've got to be wary that as that's coming at you, you know something else is going to back it up. But at the moment, he's showing all the proficiencies in every area of, of Muay Thai Hammer. He's got some good knees. We've seen the elbows. But again, Roy Wills, we know he never, ever takes a backward step, and he'll just a man with great technique and great heart as well. Crossing elbows. Big elbow there from Bark, just caught on the forearm guard there from, from Roy Wills. Spinning back elbow hammer. They're starting to bring him out for the highlight reels. <laughs> and looking comfortable with uh, with his array of technique. If he was if he was under pressure and he felt like you know he couldn't take a risk at doing something like that, he wouldn't do it. But I think as this one goes down, well look at that beautiful that was a power rear elbow straight through the guard of Will. Looks to turn him in the clinch. Gab just uh, separating the boys and centering. He's got some big hands on him. He likes the big overhand right sandbark, but as you said, Hammer, he keeps throwing that left out just to set it up and then really unloads with the leg kicks. Double, triple jab again. Just peppers upstairs. Sets the big strikes down below. Push kick in close. They lock up. Body lock. Roy Wills. Bark just getting comfortable, working. A little, bit, a little bit cheeky too, just sort of holding his hands out there in the grapple as if to say, well, you know. That's it, that, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> so a good second round there again from what Sam Buck. Let's have a look at some of those highlights the there. Roy Wills pushing the pressure. The final Strange the angle there from Sam Buck, but effective big driving knees. Lewis Sam Buck, I tell you what, he's lived up to the hype. Bushy is doing the, is doing the business. Yeah, mate, you know, Donnie Miller's not backwards in coming forwards when he talks up his fighters and... Uh, of course, he's been trained by Sankti and Noi at the gym over there in Thailand. So uh, Donnie's got some good connections over there, and they probably said Sam wants a bit of a holiday down under. Send him to Donnie Miller's super fight gym. Well, it's in St Kilda, so it's close to the beach. Exactly. A couple of nice cafes, a couple of bakeries on Ackland Street. And a great take down there from, from Samuel Bark. Big step up knee as well. It's not too often you see Roy Wills hammer starting to think, well, I haven't got all the answers here at the moment. Yeah, it's, and, and I'd probably, you know, like to see him just go bombing a bit more, let the hands fly, but I don't even know if that's going to worry Bark because he looks very proficient and confident when it comes to the boxing as well. He's tripling up off that jab, setting his right, setting his kicks, using the jab hook combo nicely. One of the trademark techniques that Roy Wills has always used has been his kicks, his midsection kicks, and he's not really letting them go here tonight, Hammer. Well, Sam, look, I like what I'm seeing from, from Sam Bark, but there was, we spoke earlier about potentially a matchup with him and Tum Sijatong. I haven't, I haven't seen in him something that's going to open up Sijatong, though. Like, he's good, and he's, you know, he's putting it together nicely, but um, I think Roy's a lot more, I suppose, in front, he's not moving, he's not as mobile as, as a tie fighter. Yeah. But then again, Bark's fought a lot. He's fought a lot of ties overseas and he'd be used to their movement, he'd be used to their, you know, their very um, sort of erratic movement in the ring and, and slipping. So he's probably got an answer for it. So it makes for an intriguing matchup after this one on the next Rebellion show. 28th of November, Malvern Town Hall, get onto Rebellion Muay Thai, grab your tickets. It will be an absolute cracker. Sam Buck again just measuring. Will's going for the high head kick. 
it's good to see him have a go. It's good to see him have a dip from the outside. They get uh, comfortable in the clinch. And uh, just wear down tactics from, from uh, Bark, just leaning on him, getting comfortable in there, and then starting to drive the knees in like that, into the ribs. He looks physically stronger in the upper torso, Hammer Sam Bark. Yeah, he's, he's got a good vertical base, you know. He's not he's not being moved around at all in that clinch. He's got some good evasive skills there, just uh, ducking out the way and weaving out of the way of the big head kick there from, from the Rebel Roy Wills. But again, Roy Wills, uh, I think he's pretty much been on every rebellion. Hammer maybe might have missed out on one, but you know that the kid's always going to bring it. He always brings some great crowd support. And uh, you'd, you'd swear he was a local Melbourne boy, Hammer, the support that gets behind him. Yeah, very popular, not only in Melbourne, but indeed all over the country. Had some big wins up in Queensland as well. Crossing elbow there from Sam Bark. And he's popular because of his, you know, his gutsy fighting style. You never say die attitude. He's there for the fight. You know, he's, even if he's... If he's being, you know, somewhat beaten like he is at this point, he's still got the ability to pull something out and, and create an upset. We've seen on, on uh, some of his fights before where he's, he's looked to be, you know, getting the best out of him, but he'll pull something out and turn the fight yeah. on its head. So this one's not over yet. Yeah, good take down there from Sam Bark. Good, good check nice there. Nice check. Beautiful check. Just uh, leveraged out the knee and uh, checked the kick nicely, but Bark... Uh, in turn has also good lower defence. The one two in close, looked to set the elbow. Wills didn't let it happen. You can see him there throw the right and then look almost secondary to slice the elbow through the guard. Balk back, beautifully done. And tried to counter with that round kick himself, Wills. Yeah, the, only, the only thing with Roy Wills hammer, the haircut. What's, what, what's going on there, Roy? We know we love seeing you over here, mate, but come on. <laughs> Mind you, he's got Blair in the corner, so you never know what Blair's going to bring. <laughs> Into the body they go. Bark comes through. Round knee. In close. Gets great rotation off the hip. Drives the knee straight into the rib cage there. Samuel Bark drops down. Looks to create something in the clinch. When the clinch is on tight, creates some leverage. Bark drops his weight down in order to loosen the grip of Wills. Again with a double jab, Bark. Wills for the round kick off the rear. Bark storms forward, crashes him into that red corner and then goes to work with the knees. He's got some really good step through knees, Hammer, as he sort of sets it up and as you said, he sort of faints with the hands and then comes through it just like that, a big driving knee right into the midsection. He's really proficient in every aspect of Muay Thai Hammer. He's good in the grapple. He's got some good hands, his kicks are good, his knees are good. Good vertical base as well. Look at that, straight out of the clinch into the body rip, you know, just working the, the whole time, Samuel Bark. I just wonder whether he's got the the, Simon, the the Decker name because the way that he loads up his shots, Hammer. Just throws those big punches, throws caution to the wind and lets them fly. And Roy Wills looks like he's been cut just under the left eye, Hammer. Yeah, look at that, one, two, and then the elbow slicing through the guard, Samuel Bark. Starting to create some damage to the to the face of Roy Wills. Already the corner. See Ben White there already getting the adrenaline ready in the corner, ready to uh, any get good, to work on that cut. Any good corner hammer's got the vas and they've got the adrenaline there just waiting to go. Stem the bleeding if, uh, if indeed the cut opens up anymore. I'll tell you what, there's one thing with Roy Wills. Uh, he's had 42 odd fights. I reckon he's chasing John Wayne Parr's record for the number of cuts. He, <laughs> he seems to wear a few every time he comes over to Melbourne. He always goes back with, with quite a few stitches, Roy, but you know that he's been in there for a while. But he just smiles at the doctors, weaving his magic and stitching him up out the back. But Samuel Bark again, just on the front foot. Roy Wills throwing out his own measuring jab. Yeah, good take down again there from Sam Bark. Roy Wills equal to the task. Dr. Chris Barnes there, sitting inside having a good look at it. Tell you what, he's, uh, he's pretty handy with the needle too, Chris Barnes. He's a good cut man, good stitch up, good stitcher upper up. <laughs> I'm sure Hammer, as much as he loves coming to the shows, I'm sure he'd love to be able to go home in the night, yeah. not having to open up the kit bag and yeah. uh, do See, anything. 
Many times we've seen the doctors out the back to the wee uh, early hours of the morning, yep. stitching up the odd cut or five. A uh, big uh, shout out to Dr. Chris Barnes. Tell you what, Hammer, four down, one to go. An absolutely sensational fight so far. Sam Buck, very, very impressed with uh, everything that he's bringing here tonight, Hammer. Yeah, just forward movement, very strategic attacks, changing of levels. Look at that jumping knee, just climbed him like a ladder. Uh, let the knees fly. Samuel Bach, what a revelation right here on Rebellion. Fifth and final round. Of course, coming up after this, we've got the main event. The final of the eight-man eliminated. Brett Tux McCluskey taking on Alex Ilioski. We've got to get this one out of the way first. And Roy Wills probably realises he's probably a little bit down on the cards and he's got to step it up in this fifth and final round. Definitely don't go anywhere, folks. There's uh, still a lot of great action. Rebellion Muay Thai. Oh, a beautiful step through knee. Almost come over the guard and clipped him on the jawline there from Samuel Bark. Big shout out once again to our sponsors that have got behind this one. It's a big thanks to Steve Hull from Quest Environments. Of course, Singer Beer. Morgan Jonas down at Sting Sports. The boys behind Ladbrokes. And of course, Sinaji's William Street Gym. That was John and Claudine from JPS Coatings. Knee for knee. Into the rib cage they go. GM just breaking the boys in this fifth round. One, two, into the body. Beautiful jab, cross, body rip. Textbook stuff from Bark. There's probably not a technique he hasn't thrown tonight, Hammer. No, I've, I've got to say, it's such a well-rounded, composed fighter. And a big driving elbow there, right in the corner, above his own corner there. Beautiful to watch. Keith Grant, look at him, he's just clapping. He's loving it. He's <laughs> loving being in the corner. It's always good to be in the corner of a winner. And of course, Donnie Miller, he's uh, happy with his young charges. Probably Sam's arrived over here, had a couple of weeks, held pads, and just getting down to business. Big knees, big knees, just constant work rate, chipping away, and uh, carving away at what I'm sure will be a victory for Samuel Bark. You know, Hammer, we saw the cut on Roy Wills in that fourth round. They've done a great job. And, any, you know, that's a sign of a great corner, Hammer, if they can stem the bleeding. Yeah, they've done a great a job cut. patching him up and letting him roll on. And uh, But take nothing away from Roy Wills. He's shown so much heart. I tell you what, a lesser fighter would have, would have not been in the fight at this point. And uh, Sam Bark looking very happy with himself. Some good evasive schools there in the corner. Tempo building in this fifth and final round. Roy Wills, a big egg under the left eye. Wills looking for something, looking for something, almost desperation. He knows he's behind. He knows that he needs to uh, to pull out the finisher. Yeah, and Sam Bark now just doing as they do in Thailand. Hammer just starting to back off a little bit. Oh, oh Roy, nice. Roy oh, Wills beautiful. just catching Sam Bark with a high kick, and that's uh, fired him up a little bit, Hammer. Just kicked the taste out of his <laughs> mouth almost. Just as Sam Bark was thinking, I'm just going to sort of back off a little bit. Roy says, well, no, I'm not quite finished yet. Hammer, I'm just going to whiz one past Sam. Samuel Bark just there with his hands that up in the air. It is not over yet. Jumping round kick, Roy Wills. A bit of Sanchai there with him. <laughs> I tell you there what, you this, this kid from uh, coming out of Thailand, Sam Bark, Hammer, an absolute revelation here on Muay Thai. Roy Wills, again, has not let down the crowd or his gym. Fantastic work from... Uh, Samuel Bark, but take nothing away from Roy Wills. Again, entertaining, and what an absolute warrior he is. You know what, that, that kick that just grazed the chin of Sam Bark, and what does he do? He comes back with an elbow that I think he might have also cut Roy Wills with as well. It's that, yeah, it sort of almost uh, just served to infuriate him a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Cannot do that at this point of the fight, son. Yeah, red rag to a bull. But uh, I'll tell you what, what a great fight this one was. Always showcasing Roy Wills, but Samuel Bark, the revelation here on Rebellion Muay Thai. Fantastic. Fight of the night thus far for mine. Samuel Bark, Roy Wills, well done to both boys and indeed Sai Nadji for the matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of full tie rolls, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the contest the same way, declaring you in a via unanimous points. Blue no surprises there, Hammer, Samuel and it looks Samuel like we will be seeing him back ah. on the 28th of November, possibly against Tum Sitchitong. Get on board if you want to see that one, because this kid brings it all.